Hello, welcome to My Easy Statistics. This video is introduction to SPSS AMOS. In this video, we will be seeing about uh, drawing basic structure in AMOS graphics. I am showing you a structure which is about uh, structure equation model which I, which I am going to draw in AMOS software. If you see this diagram, this diagram has been drawn basing on some theoretical background. In my database, data set, I have total 10 observed variables are there which are grouped into 4 factors or 4 components. You can see in this diagram that question 1, question 2 and question 3 are grouped as one component. Question 4, question 5, question 6 are grouped as other component which I am calling as factor 2. And question 7, question 8 is grouped as factor 3. And question 9 and question 10 is grouped as factor 4. So I have a theory saying that factor 1, factor 2, factor 3 are impacting factor 4. And I have a correlation between, I want to find a correlation between factor 1 to factor 2 and factor 3. So this diagram I want to show you in the basic thing. How to enter into SPSS AMOS graphics. How to draw absorbed variables. How to draw unobserved variables. How to have the uh, estimation diagrams and correlation and how to attach the file I have already have a file here this is a file which I am going to use we have uh, 10 questions which will be considered for my analysis part so the basic things we are going to see about uh, SPSS AMOS graphics right let me start the basic thing go for start and in AMOS graphics, click on AMOS graphics. Okay, once we get into AMOS graphics, this is a work area where I'm going to work. We can adjust the screen how we want to modify the size. We can do the layout can be modified. Okay. Now I can, I'm going to start using um, the diagram what I've shown in the example. The, diag the same diagram first I'll show how to draw in a very simple way. So in this diagram I first I want to draw. You can see this here. I want to have factor 1, factor 2, factor 3 and factor 4. And first factor I want to have 3 absorbed variables second factor also three observed variables and uh, third factor only two and fourth factor also I want to have only two observed variables on that so let me start doing this this button which is called as draw a latent variable latent variables are unobserved variables observed variables are the variables which we have consideration in the questionnaire which I am taking from the respondents but unobserved variables are hidden, they are derived from observed variables. So I am selecting this button and I click on this work area, worksheet 1, 2, 3. I want to have 3 variables. Second also I want to draw 1, 2, 3. And third one I want to have only 2. One, Two. fourth unobserved variable only two okay now after drawing this let me rotate them so using this button I can rotate the variables I've rotated here also I can rotate in which di direction you want you can rotate them so the example which what I'm showing the same things are being drawn very easily using the tool this tool okay this one this circles are called as 
unobserved variables which are also called as latent variables. The rectangle or square what you are seeing here this is called as observed variables. And we have here also some squares we call them as error variables or unique variables. We will discuss about this as we go into the discussion. Right. Now let me create impacts. I am creating from factors in this way. Okay. I have drawn the arrows. When I am drawing an arrow from this circle to this circle, this is called as independent unobserved variable. This is called as dependent unobserved variables. So where arrow is directing that variable is called as an indicator they are dependent variables and we can say in the other way this variable what you have here circle the tail part of the arrow is called as exogenous variables this is called as endogenous variables right let me draw the covariance between this three I can do this automatically I can do I can go for observation uh, this is called as uh, just click on this button select it and when I select it becomes blue color we can go to plugin and say draw covariance so system has automatically drawn the covariance between these factors now I want to just make some moving so I can move this move the objects it's a little bit it's overlapping so I can just move this objects the way I want it's pretty much simple we can do this if I want to do resizing also I can do using this button called as change the shape of the object I can change I can reduce the size I can increase the size using this button called as uh, resizing or change the shape of the object if I want to delete any object I can erase with this click this button and where which one we want we can easily delete whenever I take on the object which I want to do it becomes a red color it is highlighted then we immediately click it it gets deleted so this is a deselection I've selected all not required okay now the selection is removed now the next is I want to add the file which I have right to link the file we call select a data file in this we can go to file name okay I have on my desktop the file yeah example 2 is of my file <coughs> I'm opening it and you can even view the data so this is the data how we can view it this is a data file which I have right and say ok now I want to list the variables and assign them to the observed variables so once I click this button I get to this pop up one window go on adding question number one question two question three question 4 directly I'm adding question 6 and question 7 and write 7 question 8 and this is question 9 and this is question 10 right I have linked the file data file and now I have linked the variables to the diagram now the other way I can do is now I need to name this unobserved variables so just go to plugins say name unobserved variables 
okay now some automatically named these way factors as f1 f2 f3 and f4 but the other factors it has named as errors okay these factors are called as common factor these factors what you see e1 e2 e3 are called as unique factors okay so these are errors which are called as unique factors because these are directing towards the observed variables these are called as common factors okay now i have named example f1 i want to name it as a different name i can double click on that and i can remove this name and i can keep a name or i can add a name also for example i want to call it as some awareness or satisfaction this i am naming you can see automatically the label is been coming there so if i close this button automatically i get this but i don't want this as of now remove it now this is the diagram which i have drawn exactly like my example okay now uh, i need to add an error variable to f4 take this error variable click on this i got an error why i need to add an error because whenever we have an indicator that is an arrow pointing to a variable that fact this variable is called as an indicator and indicator has a error variable need to be add with a unique variable name it and okay name unobserved variable i got e11 right but you can see this error variables what we have is pointing to observed variable and this error is up is indicating towards unobserved variable so this is called as <coughs> residual error e11 is called as a residual error and e1 e2 e3 and which are pointing to observed variables they are called as measured errors once again i repeat e11 which is pointing to factor unobserved variable is called as a residual errors e1 e2 e3 which is pointing to observed variables they are called as measured errors because the unobserved variable is also called as measured variables this one more name for this measured variable unobserved variables are also called as items manifest variables there are different names are there for this observed variables unobserved variables this f1 f2 f3 they are called as latent variables or they are called as factors right i have created an error why i have kept an error for this because whenever an arrow pointing to a variable it is called as indicator variable and this indicator variable need to have an error you can see everywhere wherever the arrow is pointing to an variable we always have an errors this is a rule which we must remember and the arrow tail and head is there the tail part of an variable which we have is always called as exogenous variable and the head which is pointing is called as endogenous variables so i have completed drawing a diagram and in this diagram if there are two types of structures are there measured structure and sorry measured model and structural model structural equation model has two models measured model and structural model what is measured model means you can see f1 is having question number 1 question number 2 question number 3 the relationship between this variables is called as measured model fine even this also we have measured model this one uh, question number 4 5 6 pointing uh, to question 2 f2 this is called as a measured model and this is also a measured model and even then this is also a measured model but the relationship between f1 f2 f3 to f4 is called as a structural model this is called as a structural model structural model between observed and unobserved variables so a measured model and a structural model 
together is called as a structure equation model or it is called as a full latent model complete latent model it is called as okay let me go further for doing some settings for analysis properties we can go here do some settings for analysis properties what we want to estimate we go for estimation in estimation we have maximum likelihood method generally we will be using maximum likelihood method for amos you want to calculate mean and intercepts we can check this button and in output we want to do estimations we can select this button i want to estimate correlation <coughs> i can select this button and say okay and this is called calculate estimates i can select calculate estimates a system is calculated now once the model is identified then the diagram becomes this output path diagram will become glowing or it, it becomes active it becomes active if the model is unidentified the model is unidentified this will not become active and in my further videos i'll be explaining about what is the meaning of saying model identification okay once the model is identified you can check the path okay that now i got all the values i got here the model is two types unstandardized estimates and standardized estimates in my further videos i'll be explaining about uh, what is unstandardized estimates and what is standardized estimates so let me go for standardized estimates okay this is the values which i get i'm just showing you how to adjust this value i'm not able to see this value right the estimation of this value so i can go this diagram which can move parameter values can bring it so in this basic uh, diagram i am showing you how to do all the tuning values okay i want to bring this this side okay i can do it okay in this way whatever values you want to check we can do here and i want to see the view text click this button called as view text okay here we will be having what are the notes for the models in the navigation tree we have the results we have estimations what are significant what are not significant and model fit in my further videos i i'll be discussing about what is model fit we can check those videos in further we can see what is model fit so the same example what i am discussed here i am have drawn in the basic model in spss amos graphics <clears throat> so this is how we are going to draw the basic model and these are the simple things which is very important for drawing a structure equation model in amos graphics i wish this video is useful thank you